Well, tonight, one of the busiest community pools in the city of Tampa is closed as students settle into another summer with blazing hot temperatures. 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell takes us to Sulphur Springs to explain what city staff has presented as a temporary solution. Closure signs and a drain pool. That's all that's left for Sulphur Springs neighbors while city leaders decide how to move forward. We spoke to one mom in the area who says she believes this is just another example of Sulphur Springs being neglected. It's just not fair to our kids at all. Mary Ellen May says her daughter learned to swim at the Sulphur Springs pool, but with it now closed indefinitely this summer, kids in the area won't have the same access to swim safety lessons. Why take something away from them and that's in their home? At a meeting today, Parks and Rec gave a report to City Council addressing the issues that led to the pool's untimely closure after working to bring grates in the pool up to compliance. Once we drain that pool and remove those grates, we found that water was coming up from the ground into the pool. Uh, it was to a force that looks like a garden hose. We're hoping in the next 30 days we can have a roadmap of what we might be able to do to bring the pool back online. Might not be a, a, a forever fix, but it might get us till we can get to a position of a longer term replacement. You know these things needed to be done. The pool didn't oh, was closed for how long? So why wasn't those things being taken care of at that time? Parks and Rec says in the meantime, they are planning to launch a shuttle to take people from the Sulphur Springs pool over to the Copeland pool six days a week. We'll see that start operating on Saturday. May says that idea is good in theory, but she's worried about kids missing the shuttle to come home, overcrowding at the Copeland pool, and the potential for conflict with kids in a different environment. It's not fair for these kids here to have to go somewhere outside of their neighborhood just to be comfortable and have fun. And while city leaders weigh whether it's best to do quick repairs or look at more long-term solutions, parents like May tell us it's the kids who will suffer. This is walking distance for these kids. They come in peace because this is their neighborhood. In Tampa, Miranda Parnell, 10 Tampa Bay. City leaders say they'll have to decide whether a quick repair will be worth the money or if it will be best to put an entirely new pool somewhere else on the property that won't have the same issues.